and welcome to Justin and Brandon's Reptile Adventures. Justin can't be here today due to an unknown reason. <laughs> so I'm actually doing episode two alone. Sorry, Justin. Well, let's get on to our first animal. I'm going to take the camera in a minute because my mom doesn't know how to work the macro lens. So I'm going to need to work it. All righty. Okay. For the first animal, this animal is actually a repeat of the first episode. Sorry about this, but it has to because we don't, I don't have Justin's animals here today. And as he, no, he's kind of sliding, but it's the skunk gecko, also known as the white line gecko. They're wall climbers, mainly arboreal, I believe. Um, they eat insects, as most geckos. Uh, they have the, what, they have kind of a, they have wide toes used for, Climbing, I believe it's called Gekel, as stated by Jerry Feldner. Um, he is a very cool lizard. They're very good pets, but they can be very, very aggressive if you don't get them from the right people. Uh, they make a very strange noise like the toke. You probably saw the toke on the s second episode for YouTube instead of Reptile Geeks. This one's going up on Reptile Geeks. So they do make a noise kind of like the toke is, but they don't sound like the toke. They make it just as loud, though. These guys, they're okay in a 10 to 20 gallon cage. Well, maybe 15 to 20 gallon cage. Good pets. Uh, but they do climb walls, so you have to have a lid. Well, I'm going to move on to the next animal now. Hey, Mom, if you would take the camera again. Okay, okay next animal. Okay, now I'm probably going to get bit by this. Uh, you, Justin got bit in the episode that I didn't put up because it's too long. Uh, so I'm probably gonna get bit and I need to have my noose on hand. So hold on while I get my noose. And I accidentally whacked him over the head, accidentally with this a minute ago. So he's actually very disorientative. <laughs> so he's not very fast, but he's still probably gonna bite me. Okay, and I have my noose on hand in case he gets out. And then he'll be able to watch me on a noose chase, on a lizard chase with a noose. Got him. Okay, maybe I don't have him. Hold on, hold on, people. <laughs> Sorry. Ah! It's a desert spiny lizard. Very pretty, but extremely hard to tame down if you catch them. And dangerous. <laughs> Sorry, that was my grandpa speaking, which he wasn't supposed to. Uh, hold on. Okay, this is gonna be... I'm probably gonna be on a chase. Okay, I've got him. Okay, Mom, I'll take the camera now. I believe we are running out of time. Oh, no, actually not. Okay, this is the desert spiny lizard. Desert spinies are very pretty, as I said. They have a turquoise and black belly. Uh, some have dark blue, some have light green. This has more of a turquoise very pretty neck as well. The deserts are mainly known for their collar, kind of like a collared lizard, but they're not in the collared lizard species. Very aggressive if caught out in the wild, as you can see him opening his mouth at me and trying to bite. Uh, very pretty back. It's a dark blue. You can easily identify these, as I said, with by the collar. If you live in Arizona or California, wherever is desert, you can find these guys and as I said, easily identified. Uh, they can be very mean. I'd suggest using a noose. I use a, I believe that this one's about four to five feet long. Uh, I have a 10 foot, a 12 foot, and a seven foot. Uh, the 12 foots I use for mainly larger lizards such as desert iguanas, which we don't have yet, and truck wallas. Truck wallas, very large lizards found in Arizona. Well, I'm gonna get to the next animal. If you would, Mom, take the camera. Okay. Now it's time to put this guy back. <laughs> okay, the next animal is an amphibian. It's found in the northern parts of Arizona, which is, and I bet most of you who know a lot of, about amphibians can guess. It is, sorry, Mom, I'm going to take the camera, the mountain tree frog. He'll probably jump out of my hand, so don't be surprised if you don't see him anymore. Uh, 
ve they can jump very far, even as babies, like this little guy. Uh, mainly found, and even though they're called the tree frog, they're rarely found in trees or bushes. I have no idea why, they're found, why they call them tree frogs. But, um, you can easily identify these by the striping f down from the mouth to the, I'm going to get on the ground so if he does jump he doesn't hurt himself, from, from the mouth to mid-body, some actually go all the way down to the end of the leg, which is kind of hard to find, but that's how, the, how you identify them. They're also a very bright green, well, mid-green, I'd say, and they're, he eats very well. They're good pets if you can find them. And there he goes jumping. And there he is. As you can see, he's about as... He's a bit bigger than my pointer finger's nail. Uh, very cool little pets. Just make sure they don't dry out. You have to keep them in a very wet cage. Alright, well, I'm going to put him back. Mom, would you please take the camera again? And I'll take out the next animal. Which is... It's from Tanzania, and it's Sam Lizard, did you guess? I kind of gave you a big hint there. Mainly meant for a display lizard only. Not meant for a good pet. If you want a good pet, get a bearded dragon. <laughs> well, here it is. It's Tanzanian Sam Lizard. I'm not going to let him go because he would be gone. They're part of the amoeba family, which means they're with very, very fast lizards. As you can see, meant for burrowing. They have that pointed nose. And they have that very, very long tail. They, uh, they have this very pretty red and orange coloring. I'm actually going to put him in his cage to do the filming. Because he can be very, very fast and he'll escape from my hands. As you can see, it has very pretty orange and red with white dots going along the sides. They're pretty inexpensive to buy at pet stores. Uh, but they're only meant for display lizards. So if you do education, I highly recommend these for display. Uh, since they're so fast, you won't be really be able to handle them unless you have a noose or a really quick hand. They're extremely hard to catch. I've had him get out once, and I barely caught him with a noose. He almost went all the way through the noose. I got him by the back legs. Well, that's all the time we have for today. I'm going to hand this back to my mother. As I said, that's all the time we have for today. Thanks for watching Justin Brandon's Reptile Adventures. We hope to hear from you again. Uh, if you have any questions or any suggestions for the show, feel free to message us on Reptile Geeks or leave a comment on YouTube. Well, have a good day. Our next episode will be in Wisconsin. We're going to 15, so you'll probably we'll probably be putting up a episode, probably the 15th, if we can find a computer to use. If not, it'll be up on what the 22nd, I believe or 23rd. We'll be doing about two or three episodes up there. Hopefully we can get them all done perfectly. So, well, <coughs> see you later, YouTube and Reptile Geeks.